The drama surrounding acceptance of generative AI is ongoing in the games industry, with Valve, the owners of the PC games distribution platform Steam, blocking the majority of generative AI tools being used as part of a game's production. But now, arguably their largest competitor, Epic Games, is suggesting that they will accept games with generative AI submissions with open arms. Hey all, I'm Tommy Thompson, this is AI and Games Plus, and for this episode, we're back on the generative AI train as we unpack the comments recently made on social media by Epic Games founder Tim Sweeney on allowing games that use generative AI tools to be part of the Epic Games Store. Perhaps unsurprisingly, Sweeney's comments have opened up the conversation once again, but also highlighted that not only are people misinterpreting Valve's original decision, but that regardless of the rhetoric, Epic Games does not have an airtight stance on how to approach this problem. In my previous episode of AI and Games Plus, I discussed that Steam owners Valve have made the decision to deny publication of games to their Steam Direct platform that employ generative AI technologies that utilise datasets where the legal ownership of those assets is not confirmed. This arose courtesy of users who'd used the likes of art generators for textures, or even the use of plugins for large language models like GPT as part of their game. Now, in that episode, I argued that while Valve is being heavy-handed with its approach, which was nothing new, let's be honest with you, it is nonetheless the smartest move for Valve to make given their dominance of the PC gaming market and the precedent it sets for other platform holders, notably Microsoft, Nintendo and Sony, to follow in their footsteps. While I was finishing that episode off and getting it ready for publication, Tim Sweeney, the CEO and founder of Epic Games, the creators of the Unreal Engine, the Epic Games Store, and titles such as Fortnite, responded to a post on Twitter slash X on September 2nd. In the original post, a comment was made about a recent Steam ban, in fact one that I highlighted in my previous episode. To quote Sweeney in his response, put it on the Epic Games Store, we don't ban games for using new technologies. Now this led to all sorts of responses, some pointing out the legal ramifications of this idea, some condemning Epic Games for permitting copyright infringement on their platform, while others celebrate them for condoning the use of generative AI. And it's amazing so many people fundamentally grasp these ideas incorrectly. In fact, there's several big problems with this comment, and we're going to unpack them in this episode. First up, Steam did not ban generative AI submissions, and Sweeney knows this. In fact, they openly condone it, but in a way that is legally and ethically safe for the corporation. Secondly, based on Sweeney's comments, Epic Games runs risk of making itself legally responsible for any and all violations of copyright and similar legal challenges over generative AI for titles that are shipped to the Epic Games Store. And lastly, it's worth pointing out that this isn't the first time Sweeney, and by extension Epic, have been willing to explore unsavoury business practices just to try and appease game developers and lure them to the Epic Games Store. But also that whether this is actually permitted by Epic Games itself is an entirely different story. Before I get into Sweeney's comments, it's worth returning back to Valve to point out that they didn't ban AI in game development. Unsurprisingly, social media is full of hot and inaccurate takes on this, and even some folks in the comments section of my last video failed to grasp what is going on. Valve did not ban the use of generative AI. Valve simply does not permit assets that have been created through use of generative AI tools, whereby the creators of the game cannot prove ownership of the training data that the AI system learned from. As discussed in my Generative AI Explained video over on the main AI and Games channel, text generation systems like GPT or image generators like Stable Diffusion are trained by absorbing massive amounts of their respective data, be it text or images, to create new text and images. The problem is, where is that data coming from? Is it open source? Is it permitted for use in these systems to train them? Many of these companies have legal action against them as creators outright state that these systems are using their works without permission. Valve's decision precludes many of these systems being used in submissions, given the legal ambiguity that surrounds them. However, provided you can prove you own all the original assets or have license to use them, then their stance is that they will accept your game, even if it does have assets generated using AI. But that's kind of the problem. 99.9% .9 of developers either don't know how to train their own large language model or image generator, or they don't have the resources to build it, be it the original training material or the costs to run the training processes on cloud GPU infrastructures. As some have pointed out, this actually works to the benefit of larger AAA game studios, given they have the resources and infrastructure to be able to build their own generative AI systems. And already we've heard stories of this in the press, 
such as Activision Blizzard King exploring this idea for their own productions, or Ubisoft's Ghostwriter for creating incidental dialogue for non-player characters. So yes, generative AI is still permitted on Steam, but odds are it's now only really available to the largest game studios in the industry, which largely goes against the idea that generative AI companies have advocated for, that you'll be able to make games all by yourself using generative AI tools. If anything, what's old is new once again. Secondly, while we're in the age of tech CEOs spouting statements on social media and it being treated as policy, it's never as straightforward as that. Heck, we need only look at the owner of a certain social media slash pornography distribution platform, hard to tell based on the name, who has successfully outed himself as arguably the biggest walloper on the internet by allowing himself to state his ideas unfiltered. What an absolute bampot. One of the big problems with Sweeney's tweet is that by simply stating, oh yes, don't worry, we'll allow generative AI, it doesn't really resolve the legal issue. Critically, Alex Champagnard, who has spent a significant proportion of his time on social media in 2023 highlighting the legal infringements of generative AI, noted on Twitter that being the facilitator of a published game, as a service provider, will hold Epic Games liable for any and all infringements. This is exactly what I stressed in the last video, and the reason that Valve have blocked most generative AI submissions. So is Epic happy to go ahead with that? Are they willing to pay the legal costs as developers are sued for submitting their games on the platform? Well, that's the big question, isn't it? Tweets on socials aside, will Epic actually go ahead with it? Note that while Sweeney is Epic's CEO, the company would still need to decide internally whether or not this is a good idea to go ahead with. Looking at it from the legal perspective, Epic Games' board would have to agree that this is not going to prove to be a liability for the company, and that they should embrace it. So in this instance, the company still has to do the diligence on whether this makes sense to go ahead with. Failing to do so could actually run risk of Sweeney himself being on the hook personally, as shareholders then pursue him in court should any legal challenges and or fines arise for Epic Games. Now, I suspect, being a very successful company, that they'll go ahead and do that diligence, but it takes time. I doubt you'll hear anything concrete from Epic just yet. But there is precedent for Epic doing things like this in response to Valve. Back in October of 2021, Valve issued a ban on any games submitted to the platform that adopt cryptocurrencies and non-fungible tokens or NFTs. This was largely celebrated by the development community, but even then Epic permitted them on their own platform. While Sweeney himself stated in September 2021 that he wasn't interested in the technology coming to Epic, the Epic Games Store has since softened its stance and you can find over 30 games, either already available to play or coming soon on the storefront. So, will Epic go ahead with it? I suspect it's posturing at this point, and I think a lot of this is Sweeney trying to appease a corner of the game development community such that they will consider publishing their games on the Epic Games Store. You know, much like when all those companies, the big AAA studios, said that they were going to do NFTs a couple of years ago. Do we remember that? And what did we get out of that? I mean, Epic Games Store put a couple of games up, Ubisoft made a pair of pants and a helmet, and I don't know what the f*** Square Enix is up to, but it's fine because I imagine it will still, you know, sell under expectations. Anyway, I suspect this is just the next step in a much longer journey as we see generative AI become more pervasive and become part of the games industry as a whole. And thanks for tuning in as I try and dig into it. As always, stick around both here on AI and Games Plus or, of course, over on the main channel if you're interested in finding out more about AI and or video games because that's kind of what I do around here. And with that, I'm going to get back to work. Thanks for watching, stay safe, take care, and I'll be back.